Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Saturday, September the 17th. It's the 15th week after Pentecost and week three in the Psalm Cycle. Thanks for joining me. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, my God, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my standing up. Alleluia. Psalm 139, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, my God, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my standing up. You understand my thoughts from afar. You know my walking and my lying down, and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O God, know it altogether. You have beset me behind and before, and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, and I cannot attain it. Where can I hide from you? Where can I run from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, the night shall be light around me. Even the darkness is not dark for you, but the night shines as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to you. For you have created my inmost being. You have stitched me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works. I know them well. My body was not hid from you when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes beheld my body unfinished in the womb. And in your book all my members were written which day by day were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How precious are your thoughts to me! O oh God, how great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they are more in number than the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Surely you will slay the wicked, O oh God. The bloodthirsty must depart from me. For they speak against you wickedly, and your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate them, O God, that hate you? And am I not grieved with those that rise against you? I hate them with a perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me, my God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wickedness in me. And lead me in the everlasting way. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, my God, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my standing up. Alleluia. Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 3, beginning at verse 17. Brothers and sisters, join in imitating me, and observe those who live according to the example you have in us. For many live as enemies of the cross of Christ. I've often told you of them, and now I tell you even with tears. Their end is destruction. Their God is the belly, and their glory is in their shame. Their minds are set on earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven, and it is from there that we are expecting a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will transform the body of our humiliation, that it may be conformed to the body of his glory by the power that also enables him to make all things subject to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm in the Lord in this way, my beloved. I urge Yodia and Sintiki to be of the same mind in the Lord. Yes, and I ask you also, my loyal companion, help these women, 
for they have struggled beside me in the work of the gospel, together with Clement and the rest of my co-workers, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O oh, beloved Creator, we praise you for your wonderful works, and we thank you for our marvelous creation. You know everything about us before we even know ourselves. Cast our sins behind your back, and lead us in your everlasting way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.